the pressure is on right now for our next competitor. Remember, there are no camera tricks and definitely no prior rehearsals involving our studio audience or celebrities. He's about to perform the ultimate mind game. Determined to leave you mystified and become the phenomenon, it's Mike Super. Well, thank you, Tim, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, America. Uh, my name is Mike Super, and before we went live tonight, I had a premonition of a fictional murder. What I did was I rolled it up into a scroll to keep it mysterious. I placed it in a clear plexiglass bank tube I stole from my drive through bank teller back home. And they are very easy to get. You just take your deposit slip and go. I took that tube, screwed the lid on, making it airtight, and I locked it in the box that is hanging, isolated, in full view of you, the audience. The keys to that box are right here, Ross. I'm gonna ask you to join me on stage. Give Ross a little of your energy. Bring him up here. Thank you. How are you, Ross? I'm well. All right. No, we're not fighting. No, not we're not yet. fighting. Okay. okay. Sorry. Ross, do me a favor. Hold on to those keys. You're okay. going to keep track of the keys as well as some information. Okay. All right? Hold on to that marker. Don't write anything until I tell you where to write it. Okay, cool. You see, in America, there are many famous murders. Ted Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, and Charlie Manson. Ooh. Tonight, we're going to create our own famous murder with you, the audience, and we're going to do that using their names. We're going to select people at random. If your name is Ted, John, or Chuck, I want you to please stand now. If your name is Ted, we'll even take a Charlie. Yes? Yes? Okay, we're going to need three of these people, Ross, yes. to ensure for America that this is random. You select any of the people standing in front of us here. It's your choice. Um. Well, I like purple, so you, sir. All right, purple guy, remain standing. Remain standing where you are. Two more, quickly, Ross. Two more, how about stripey right here? Yes, stripey. And, and way back there in the back, the okay. black shirt. The gentleman in the black yes. shirt. Uh, people that weren't named by Ross, please sit down. Thank you very Sorry. much. Sorry. In unison, the gentleman in the back, please remain standing. Remain standing. You three are our random witnesses. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to create a murder mystery, and we're going to figure out who done it. <laughs> A foreboding sound. We're going to go to the witnesses. We're going to go to this gentleman first. What is your first name, sir? John. John, I need you to name any random object in your home. Any random object, quickly. Dresser. A dresser. Tonight's murder weapon will be a dresser. <laughs> Do me a favor, Ross, yeah. right on this line, dresser. Thank you. Have a seat, sir. Let's go to the gentleman in the back. What is your name? Ted. What is it? Ted. 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 Very nice. Ted. Tonight, there was a horrible murder with a dresser. <laughs> I need to know where that murder occurred. Strangely enough, Ted, that murder occurred the most exotic place you have ever went on vacation. Where is the most exotic place you have ever been on vacation? Quickly. Hawaii. Hawaii. Please have a seat. Do me a favor. Above dresser, right? Hawaii, Ross. And last... Will you remind me how to spell Hawaii? <laughs> Is it A-I-I? A -I? Double I. Okay, Very good. nice, Ross. Make sure. <laughs> Finally, we have our last witness. You, sir, had no idea you would take part tonight, correct? Be honest for America. Not a clue. Very good. Uh, what is your name? Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, do me a favor. Tonight, in Hawaii, there was a murder with a dresser. I need to know who our murderer is. Strangely enough, the murderer happens to be your favorite celebrity, one who is not present tonight. Who is your favorite celebrity? Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Please, write down Tom Hanks. Have a seat. Give our witnesses a big round of applause. Very nice. Ross. Yes. Tonight, it was Tom Hanks in Hawaii yeah. with a dresser. I knew it. Which almost makes sense. <laughs> Ross, yes. you have an important part here tonight. Ooh. We need a time of death. Mm. I'd like you, in this final spot, to write down a time of death. I can Do that now, please. Um, OK. 3.13. <laughs> Very mysterious. Give Ross a round of applause. Thank you. Hand me that marker, Ross. Right. Hand me those keys. There you go. And come stand right over here. This box 
has been isolated in full view since the break. We're going to bring it in, Ross. Okay. Because tonight you are here to make sure everything is on the level. All it's right. A nice box. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. I appreciate that, sir. Uh -huh. Now the lock was still intact. Yes. yes. I'm going to release the box from the wire and take one step back. Because tonight, remember, I told you, I made a prediction on a scroll in a clear plexiglass container. I don't want to touch it. I don't want anybody to think I could do any funny business. I will unscrew that, remove the scroll, hold it high into the air, sir. Because tonight, Ross, you could have named anything. Uh -huh. Our witnesses were chosen at random. Uh -huh. They named our murderer as Tom Hanks. Before the show, I made a prediction. Do it. If you... Check it out. It will be Tom Hanks. Did you? Wait, Ross, wait. I predicted it would take place in no, Hawaii. Why did you know that? Stop it. But wait, Ross, wait. If you don't dress it. Wait a there. second, wait. Even though it made no sense to me before the show, <laughs> I wrote down a prediction. I wrote down it will be done with a dresser. That's Ross, ridiculous. wait a second, Ross, you're, you're gonna love this I part. Can. You're gonna love this part. You picked a random time, yes? yes? yes. Ross, you could have named anything. You named 313. If you check it out, I wrote down something about the time. For the time of death, the truth will be in their hands. It's a riddle. All murder mysteries have a twist, Ross, and this is ours. You see, unbeknownst to the audience before the show, I made a prediction on their human bodies. You see, at a crime scene, not all of the evidence is visible. Sometimes they have to bring out the UV light. Everybody in the audience, hold their hand out towards Ross and concentrate on their hands, Ross, and take a look. You'll see literally in UV ink on the entire audience's hands. Oh, Three, 13. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This case is closed. Sherlock Holmes.